Hello guys, today we will see how to create an entity relationship diagram for a simple blog. Let's see the use case. Imagine you are tasked with designing the database schema for a straightforward blogging platform like Medium or Quora or Reddit. Users can create accounts, write and public blog post and interact with other users post through comments and likes okay so this this is our use case so let's see the entity and attributes for this so blogs has to be for some category like it can be for science or history so there will be a category which is going to be entity second will be somebody has to write the post so there will be a post user id name email password because we don't want anyone to just come and write at least we should know who has written the post then we will have an entity called post where we have id title of the blog details about the blog there will be some image of the blog and when it was written next we'll have an entity called tag where we have id and name let's say it is about signs so maybe some scientific names they can put it as tag so that when it is being searched the blog will come at first next we have comment comments will be there for a blog when people read they can put, provide comments they may agree they may disagree they may say that this is right this is not right and who is writing the comment at least we need the name of the person so we have one more entity called comment user so in total there are six entities one is category second is post user third is post fourth is tag fifth is comment and sixth is comment user what are the relationships so category to post is one to many because for one category you can have many posts like for science you can have so many science blogs or for arts you can have so many arts blog similarly post and post user so a person can write many post right one to many but one post will be written by only one person that's why it is one to many once a post is live the post can have many comments so but one comment will be for one post only you can have so many comments but they will be related to one post so that's why it is also one to many finally comment user to comment also gonna be one to many because one comment user can write many comments they can write many comments in many posts and lastly post and tag so for a post we can put many tags so it's many to many because a same tag can be put on many post and one post can have many tags so these are all the relation ships based on this simple blog let's see the diagram okay so if you see the diagram we have our entity attributes relationships primary key foreign key right let's start with our category so we'll be having an entity called category id name so it can be our science arts computers information technology any category now this category will be having a post so the post belongs to some category so if you can see when there is one to many one will go inside the many so the post entity is having the foreign key called category id similarly post will have title which will be the name of the post details whatever needs to be written there date when it was written and likes how many likes it's getting so that's also can be a field next we have post user the person who gonna write this post so it's id as primary key email password name notice email gonna be unique so it can be said unique key but it is not the primary key here if we want we can keep it but we like to keep primary key as numbers only this id becomes a foreign key in the post table because one to many okay next what happens the post p 
people can write many comments so post to comment if you can see there one to many whenever one to many one goes inside the many and comment has id details what was their comment somebody must have written the comment so that's the comment user id and name now i can keep the comment user same as post but if i want to keep as post i have to ask the user to provide email password because you know this is structured data so i can't just put something and start writing null 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 for them okay so this is structured data so if i put something i have to give all information about that so comment user may not necessarily want to provide their email and create account with us that's why comment user here is separate but one user can write many comments so that's why there is one to many relationship finally a post can have many tags so all the tags are in this tag entity and there is relationship between post and tag so how when there is many to many we create a intermediary table called post tag where we uh, provide the join so one to many one to many and then it becomes many to many between post and tag okay so let's do this diagram in draw dot io once you write that website it will ask for you to create new diagram click on that you can choose entity relationship diagram and we click on create it will ask for you to save somewhere on your computer you can just give the name blog and save it gives you a dummy diagram so you can just select and delete it so we are now on the interface of draw.io okay this side is all the tools what we can use so we will move to entity relationship now we will select our first entity if you remember our first entity was what category so i will name okay category was having a field called id that was the primary key and a field called name next what you do you select because i do not need this much big so i will select here arrange and click on this one so i made my category entity complete okay i can bring here next i'm going to create a entity next entity which is my post user so i can write post underscore user entity has a entity has a primary key id i can write name email password this makes my post user done next entity i'm going to create post post it will have a id title details image i can choose arrange and i can add rows here okay image like category has many post and user writes many post so i will write here post underscore user underscore id category id so now this is post entity one many one to many now i have what i have comment this comment will have its own id something will be written in the comment some it will belong to some post there will be someone gonna write it so i will write so i need comment user okay i select arrange and i'm gonna reduce the rows perfect so now i can take my one to many okay next i have perfect perfect next i need my tag i can give the name tag id name and name next i will take my join table where okay i can say this one post underscore tag and here will become post underscore id this tag underscore id perfect i can just quickly bring now my 
I can just quickly bring my one to many now here. Uh, attach one to this and many here. And the next, I can attach one here and many here. Perfect. So this creates our entity relationship diagram for a simple blog based on the use case what I have provided. Once this is done, you can click on share or you can go to, once this is done, you can go to file and you should be able to export, export as, okay. Once this is done, choose file, export as, you can choose here PNG and you can just click on export. It will ask you where to save. I'll put it in a download folder and hit OK. So here is my simple blog ER diagram. Thank you for watching.